This programme contains paranormal content that is for entertainment purposes only. Um, the card that I thought was really significant for you is a marriage card. It's the Two of Cups. Some people might say tarot is a load of nonsense, but Debbie's just shown me the marriage card and I'm getting married, so never doubt the cards. In a reading like this, the first line shows me how you're thinking and how you're feeling. You're showing us the Queen of Swords at the moment. Um, she's intelligent, she'll come out fighting for what she believes in. The other side of her is something that you perhaps suffer from as well, and that can be overthinking, overprocessing, stress. What with the wedding and the house, it's hard not to get stressed. The bottom card in that central lineup for you is the Two of Wands. For me, this person is there, their own little world in their hand, looking out to pastures new. I mean, technically, I was hoping to get married on a beach, but I'd be happy with a pasture. Another strong energy card for you. He sits on top of our Three of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry to see the Three of Cups in reverse. <laughs> because it's a party card, a celebration card. It brings people and families together to celebrate. Oh no, the wedding's cancelled, isn't it? <laughs> it does. They're pouring out the gin and tonics, aren't they? It's not happening. It doesn't mean that you're on the wrong road. It just might put you on a different road. Mm -hmm. Sometimes delays happen for a reason. You I always in. believe that. The final card for you is our beautiful, wonderful Empress. She's a card of abundance and a woman of abundance. It's a strong, strong feminine card. That feminine intuition, that feminine drive, so, so important for you as you move forward. Don't think your lovely man's got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> She's a nurturer and you're one of life's nurturers. She's covered in pomegranates. Mm -hmm. She's a huge fertility symbol. Oh God. <laughs> I want a child, but not just right now. I mean, I want to be married. I want to be a newlywed and I just want to enjoy me and Jacob being together first. I think we're looking at a marriage that could possibly be delayed, although the indicators around that are still to be optimistic and hope, still yeah. to continue with your plans. We've got indicators around children for the future and around major change, so I think your life's on a big reset at the moment. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that I was going to get a definitive answer about the wedding today, but the cards did say I should keep being positive and that big change is coming, so fingers crossed. Well, thank you. It's been amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad it's made such a difference for you. And um, we love and like from me. And namaste. <gasps> namaste. Currently on the ward. I've just had my COVID test. Um, I've got to wait for that to come back. So they've put me in my own room for now. Um, and I have to use like my own toilet and stuff. I'm absolutely exhausted. I didn't sleep at all last night and I'm stinging down below. I've got cramps and I'm waiting for some codeine. The hospital have asked me to stay in so they can keep an eye on me. I'm just hoping once Aaron sorted the kids, he can come up and see me. Are you excited? It's going to be a surprise for you because we're not going to tell you until we bring the baby home. Talia's births are normally pretty quick, but every child is different, and this one is very, very early, so I'm not going to hold my breath. Leisha's in safe hands, that's the main thing. So yeah, we're just, it's just now it's just a waiting game. It's stressful, it is stressful because I've got two kids here. Talia's in hospital, so we're just going to have to sort everything out. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> what a morning. What a morning. Do you know what? Like, at least I'm here. At least I'm not six hours away. It's all happened so quick, and it's not even quarter. It's not even eleven o'clock. So now I'm just sat on this lovely monitor, but I'm not in any pain. We've got someone here to look after the kids, so pregnancy pillow in hand. Hopefully it's going to be a short one, but I'm not too confident. So let's go. Oh, Jesus. I've just heard from Aaron and he's on his way up to visit. I can't wait to see him, it's going to be such a relief, but he's only allowed to stay for two hours because of COVID. We are in the room. Tanya's getting checked, but look. 
the Newcastle match is on. <laughs> Talia is my main priority, but when the match is on, she can wait for 90 minutes.